Hello students. Today we are going to learn about the Thar Desert which is also known as the Great Indian Desert. The Thar Desert lies in the northwestern part of India. It forms a natural boundary between India and Pakistan. It extends from Gujarat in the west to Punjab and Haryana in the north. However, a major part of the desert lies in Rajasthan. Children, today we will study about the climate, landforms and vegetation of the Great Indian Desert. As we have already seen its extent and location, let us now learn about the climate of this place. The Thar Desert experiences an extreme type of climate. Summers are very hot. In the night it is cool. In winters days are warm. Nights are freezing. Now why is there a variation in the temperature of the day and that of the night? This is because the sand heats up quickly during the day and cools down quickly during the night. Rainfall is very scanty. Scanty means very less. Hot and dry winds blow during the day. These winds blow at very high speed and carry clouds of sand with them these are called sand storms now let us see the landforms landforms means physical features of the earth there are two types of landforms in the thar desert the first type of landform is sand dunes the second type of landforms is oasis. Now let us see what is sand dunes. The desert is full of small hills of sand. These hills are called sand dunes. These sand dunes do not remain at one place. They keep on shifting from one place to another when the wind blows. Now what are sand dunes? Sand dunes are small hills of sand. Now let us see what is an oasis. It is a place in desert where underground water comes to the surface. This area is full of greenery. Many crops are grown such as wheat, gram, jowar, bajra, maize, etc. Now what is an oasis? It is a place in desert which has water and vegetation. Now let us see what is vegetation. Vegetation means plants found in a particular area. There are different types of plants which can be found in a desert. Because of less rainfall this area does not support the growth of certain plants that is why it is not good for vegetation the only plant that grow here are thorny shrubs shrub means small plants with green stem like bushes cactus kikar babool most of the plants belong to the cactus family. These are some of the plants that need very little water to survive. So children, that is all about the climate, landforms and vegetation.